In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can take your artwork from Illustrator and export it to a PNG file format that preserves transparency. So you can put it on any colored background you need. Hello Creative! It's your Graphics Girl of GraphicsGirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's and I'm here to help you design your brand. One of the reasons why I love to design in Illustrator is because I can export my artwork into any file format from Illustrator, which means I can design something one time and then export it for different mediums, be it for print or screen. So here's how you can take your vector artwork and export it to the best screen file format, which is PNG. As you can see in my guide to graphic types that you can download right up here, the PNG file format is ideal for when you want to preserve transparency or have a see-through background or one that doesn't have white so you can put it on any color that you like. There's only one other file format for screen work that can preserve transparency, and that is the GIF. Check out my other video where I go into all the file formats for graphics right up here. In fact, on my blog, I write about this where I tell you that the PNG file format has superior compression, able to provide 256 levels of transparency, while GIF images only support completely transparent, not partially opaque pixels. So as a PNG or PNG file format, you can export to PNG 8 or PNG 24. That can include 16 million colors. But of course, the file format will be larger than the PNG 8, which is closer in nature to the GIF. GIFs are basically used for crude animation. So in this tutorial, we're gonna focus in on the PNG. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Even learning a few shortcuts will save you so much time and make you look so much more professional. Just click the link below. Your first step is to open up some vector art that you have in Illustrator. Then you're going to come to File, Export. You'll see under Export that there are a couple of ways to export a PNG file format. The first one we'll show is Save for Web. This has traditionally been the way to save out screen resolution graphics from Illustrator. And the way you can see it in the Save for Web dialog box is that over here on the right hand side, you can choose which file format, be that PNG 8, GIF, JPEG, or PNG 24. The differences, once again, are that the GIF and PNG file formats will allow for transparency. JPEG would be what you would use if you had a photo or many different colors. For vector art, such as a logo, you'll want to choose either PNG 8 or 24. You could also do GIF, but it may be inferior to the PNG 8. Starting with PNG 24, for sure you want to make sure that transparency is checked. Directly below the transparency, you can see the dimensions. You can see that the width and the height are now in pixels, if your artwork wasn't already set up to be in pixels. And in the lower left-hand corner, all the way down here, you can see that the overall file size will be 88K. Not bad. If we were just to take a look quickly here at PNG 8, this now limits the number of colors that you have. We can include transparency, but and the size and the dimensions are still the same. But now, in the lower left-hand corner, that this file is now 38K. So the best way to go about this would be to come up here under the two up to be able to compare either the original to the one you select or compare PNG 8 to PNG 24. To begin with, you'll click on the left hand side. You can see that this box is now highlighted blue. And by default, the original is generally what will be in there. This original file is 4.23 meg. So we're gonna change it from original to PNG24, and that's our 88.06K. 
On the right hand side now you're going to click on this right hand side where now it is highlighted blue. You're going to choose your PNG 8. Okay? We can play around with the number of colors here to reduce these even further, but just looking at the file size here, once again, in the lower left hand corner, it'll say approximately 38K. So what you're doing is comparing side by side visually at, and this is critical, 100% magnification, because what you see here is what you're gonna get on screen. Now, let me just ask you a question. Do you see a big difference between PNG24 and PNG8? If the answer is no, then you don't need to have a larger file when download times and other factors on screen are more critical. It really depends on your artwork, so you can always show it two up to compare the two. So in general, I would say when in doubt, use PNG24. But if it doesn't show a big difference, then you can always reduce the number of colors. The reason why this doesn't affect this artwork that much is because I primarily have only a few colors in this design. So when you've selected the one you're gonna choose, you click Save. You'll navigate to where you wanna save it, and you click Save. It's just that simple. So when you come to Export Save for Web, it will make it screen resolution, or 72 DPI. And you can play around with the best configuration for it in the settings in the upper right-hand corner. Next, you'll use File Export, Export for Screens, when you have multiple artboards, for example. So in your Export for Screens dialog box, you can have the option here of exporting certain artboards versus others and you could choose which ones they are. For example, if you were designing web banners in Illustrator and you had five different banner sizes, you could choose each one and then export it out as a PNG file format at its normal size, or you could create others with this option here, add scale. When you choose that, you could double or triple however many X the size that you have. In general, I design to the size that I want or otherwise would change it in Illustrator, but this is a nice option. And here you could export the entire artboard. You could choose to export them individually or as the full document. Export for Screens came out a few years ago, and honestly, I don't use it as much as the Legacy Save for Web, but it is helpful if you had multiple artboards. But what if you want a PNG with a transparent background to have a higher resolution? Perhaps you're putting it into a PowerPoint presentation that's also getting printed, or you want to have just a high-res PNG. Then you will not use Save for Web or Export for Screens. You're going to choose Export As. And when you choose that, it's from the Format dropdown that you could choose PNG. And now you have some options. This checkbox allows you to export multiple artboards, just like the export for screen options. The difference, you can make this any resolution you like. Here, I'll show you. In this case, I'll go ahead, I'll check off the use artboards. Just like before, you have the option of including all or selecting the range or individual artboards you wanna export. But sometimes I'll select use artboards even if I only have one artboard and I'll tell you why. I might have artwork outside of my artboard that I've done for scratch or that I've brainstormed that I don't want to include in my artwork that I export out. So I'll check use artboards even if I have one. So when I click export, now you get the options here under resolution to choose whether you want it to be screen, medium, or high. In fact, you could choose any screen resolution that you like. Here, imagine I'm gonna choose it to be 300 PPI or pixels per inch. You would always wanna make sure that your type is being hinted so that it has an anti-aliasing or a smooth appearance to the type. 
Now interlaced here used to be for when you had ye old dial-ups, it would choose to load in a portion of the graphic as it has it downloaded, meaning it wouldn't wait for the entire graphic to be loaded before showing it. So that used to be more important uh, when we had slower download speeds. But here's the most critical thing. You want to ensure that instead of white or black, you have transparent selected. With transparent selected, you will have that checkerboard background indicating transparency. In the example that I gave you before about having artwork that you're going to put in PowerPoint, you can export that out as medium or 150 ppi. So your entire PowerPoint deck isn't super large, but at the same time, the artwork therein, like logos, would look pretty crisp. That's a nice happy medium. The only other example I can give you of when I use this screen resolution with transparency is when I create artwork that I'm going to export out to Premiere for my artwork that I insert into my videos. Maybe I'll do a future video on that. So whatever resolution you choose, you're going to click OK. And what you'll see is that instead of just PNG, because you've saved it with the number one artboard selected, it will give it a nomenclature of dash 01 to indicate which artboard was selected. You can always delete this out from the name to make it say just PNG. And that's how you can export your artwork from Illustrator to PNG. You can do this, okay? So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Share it with your friends hey! and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.